This one says honey. Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog or welcome if you're new. I'm doing an outfit of the day because I am back to my old style. But seriously, good luck trying to figure out how to classify my style because it literally changes every week. Like one minute I'm in a dress, one minute I'm loving boho, the next minute I'm back to like the classic, I don't care, cool girl outfit. <laughs> I have this big bag full of packages and then I have a couple of boxes because sometimes people order so much that I can't even fit it in one of my massive poly mailers, which is so sweet. So thank you everybody for supporting the boutique. I might even try to take a picture in my outfit while I'm out, I don't know. Depending on if I'm feeling real spunky and I find a cute spot. Okay, I decided I am gonna take a picture in this outfit because I just desperately need content right now for Instagram. And I decided to take the hat off and put these super cool retro sunglasses on. I just feel like it really fits the vibe. And oh my gosh, I'm like obsessed with these. They're so weird, but like the cool kind of weird. In the Starbucks drive-thru I just ordered and I went to go drop the packages off and I go to like a private um, shipping place, not like the regular post office, and they were on their lunch break, so I'm gonna have to go back later for that. But after I grab my coffee, we're gonna go do something really exciting that I've been wanting to do for a while now, and today's the day. I'm sure you guys have already seen them all over the internet, those little like beaded things that hang from your phone, and they're like very 90s style, just like colorful beads. Looks like a beaded bracelet that you would have worn when you were little. Well, they're like really trendy right now, and I at first thought it was so weird and like a stupid trend, and now now I'm seeing them more and more and I'm like starting to kind of dig it like I just think it's kind of cool and trendy so I wanted to actually make some instead of buying some for the boutique I want to actually make them myself and sell them for the boutique I just thought that'd be more fun and then I can kind of customize what I want them to look like so we're gonna go to Michael's and pick out some beads and make little beaded phone charms got my coffee I just went back to the OG classic iced coffee with two pumps of white mocha and extra ice with a little bit of cream and I just got to Michael's, wait, Michael's, <laughs> and I'm about to go in now. Hopefully we find what we're looking for, let's go. Okay, I've reached the beads, here they are. There's literally so many to choose from and I honestly like don't know, I just know I want them to be colorful and cute. I think I'm gonna do these because these are kinda like pale, which could make a kind of a cool look. Obviously I have to get letters, so I'm probably gonna get one of these. And then, Maybe like either this one or this one. I feel like these are a little bit smaller. I'm like very unsure right now though. What would be better, you know? Oh, and I have these ones with birds or I can get like a bunch of those. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, you guys. <laughs> I've been like wanting to do this for so long. Just imagine this with the little colorful beaded thing. It's so cute. So trendy. Got the stuff from Michaels. I actually picked out probably more than enough, but I'm gonna try to use all of it and make it like super colorful. But I am now parked at what is gonna be my photo location. It's honestly just like this random wall with these gates, but it's pretty neutral. So I'm gonna grab my tripod and hope that no one watches me because that is uncomfortable. Okay guys, I did it. I haven't looked at the pictures yet, but I did like 60 pictures and hopefully it turned out good. I use that app called Lens Buddy that everybody always talks about and says is like really good if you wanna take pictures by yourself. So, you know, we'll see. I've got them all right here. <laughs> and only one man walked by. And back home, I wanted to show you guys what I got. So I got this little pack of just like random colorful beads and I just feel like these are gonna be really perfect to go in between the smaller ones and then I got these to kind of line the whole thing with some of those separating it and then these blue ones and pink ones and then this so that I can like write my name or just like a cute little saying something like that and then I just got this which I actually already had this this is just um wax cord I got this on Amazon a while ago because I was using this before to um tag my stuff for the boutique and then I also got this stretch cord to make bracelets. But I just realized I put the big one back. I forgot. I actually had one of these that was huge. It was like this big with like all the compartments and all kinds of colors. But I put it back because I'm trying to be reasonable here. This is like an experiment for me. If it turns out really good, then I will probably make them in bulk and sell them on the store. But to start out, I'm just going to make one for myself and make sure it doesn't fall apart first, you know. 
So I just wanted to get like a little bit to start. Also, I just posted my picture, so here it is. This is the one I chose. I just like edit it really quick and post it. I'm like so proud of myself because I just took that with a self timer. I'm about to make a quick little lunch for myself and I'm gonna show you guys this super easy recipe to make a tortellini like pasta salad. Really simple, you just need fresh basil, salami, tortellini instead of traditional noodles for pasta salad. And then I got Parmesan cheese, freshly shredded. Obviously this isn't really freshly shredded, it's pre-shredded, but that's fine. And then a tomato, fresh off the vine. Oh yeah, and you also need a little jar of pesto. We don't need much of this, so you can just get like a little mini one. Once you're finished cooking the tortellini, then you just add some pesto to a bowl. If you're making this for multiple people, then you can just kind of like separate the bowls out. Um, and then you're gonna add basically all the ingredients. is supposed to be served cold like a pasta salad so you could eat it now but the tortellini is hot so I'm gonna put mine in the fridge just for like 15 or 20 minutes and then eat it. While I'm waiting on that pasta salad to cool down in the fridge I'm gonna start doing my little uh, beaded phone charm. I just told Chad what it was and he's like what is that? <laughs> um, so I just opened this up. I didn't realize how cute. Look this has stars in it. Like I knew they were stars but I thought it was just I don't know, I guess I just didn't realize they're cuter than I expected. So we have these, I have letters. I think I'm gonna do my name and then I poured out some of the little blue ones and some of the little pink ones. And then I have to pour out some of these white ones. just got finished. I decided not to use these because I just felt like they didn't match very well with these. So I'll probably do another one with like these ones, just the white, the blue, the pink, and then like maybe like some letters. But I don't know, I just kind of felt like these just didn't go with these. So here's what it turned out to look like. I still have to tie it and cut it down obviously, but super cute. I really like it. I can't wait to get more beads. Um, but this is like so cute to see. Okay, I just finished tying it and I just put it on this case by case that's like pink with stars. I feel like it just goes with it. These have a little star charm, it's perfect. On another note, I just pulled this out of the fridge and how amazing does this look? Such a good and easy lunch. I'm trying to get better about showing you guys what I've been eating again and share like recipes and stuff because a lot of you guys had asked for that and I just kind of stopped doing it for some reason. I don't even know why having my Alani new energy drink and Hawaiian shaved ice and oh my gosh this is so freaking good I like this one even better than the mimosa one and that one used to be my absolute favorite now I'm gonna make another one and I'm gonna use these beads see how that turns out and I'm also gonna this is why like I knew this was gonna be a learning experience for me I'm gonna try to make it so that whatever I write isn't dead center it's like off to the side okay you live and learn it'll be like easier to read that way so much later now, I'm in the car with Chad, and you guys, I literally made the cutest one ever, and I didn't show you guys. So, hold on. Let me get the letters straight here. This one says honey, and it matches so perfect, so I just decided I would do one with like pink and orange, because it just goes with this phone case so good. I'm obsessed, <laughs> and Chad and I are running to Publix really quick. We have been having this bad habit of like just not going grocery shopping because he works so much, but also because I'm too afraid to go to the grocery store by myself. <laughs> so, you know, that's why I had to order food in last night. But we're going right now, and because it's already Thursday and we're just now going, we're just getting like a few things for the remainder of the week, you know, just because we only have a couple more days left this week. 
So it'll be a really quick grocery trip, but that's what we're doing. And then we're going back to the house and then Chad is actually gonna help me shoot some content for some new arrivals that are going live tomorrow. And I actually convinced him to use my DSLR and get some good photos of me. <laughs> And he already took some pictures of me modeling some of the new sunglasses that are coming out and they turned out really good So, you know, I'm, I'm impressed pictures. Yeah, yeah they turned yeah. out good. I have the touch He does he he must have learned a thing or two. I don't know how It's much later Chad just pulled the steaks off the grill. They look so good. This is a half a steak He cut it in half for me um we're having a baked potato, corn on the cob, and asparagus. And I'm literally so excited, I'm starving. Can someone please tell me if anyone else eats corn in a straight row like this? Because I cannot comprehend how he does this every single time. No comment. You and your dad both eat corn way too- You gotta get every curl, man. I just can't do it even if I try. Like, how do you aim like that? To get it so perfect, I just jump into it. I'm so obsessed with this little thing that I already ordered more beads on Amazon. I ordered like smiley faces and then I also ordered, let me just look it up and show you guys. Okay, I got colorful smiley face beads, but then I also got, ooh, whoa, that's really bright. The ones that are like the letters, but they're colorful letters. Just made myself a little bowl of ice cream and I put chocolate syrup on it because I know no limits. We are just living life, just living life.